I've tracked a leadwood tree, everybody. There it is. I have achieved the pinnacle of my bush career. I can go no further. There is nothing left for me to achieve out here. Viam, do you agree? Yes, you can hear how vociferous and cheerful VM is today. Now, there is something interesting about this tree, and it was actually asked by my rather sardonic partner today. He said, why, and I'm not worried to his accent, he said, why is that, is that tree half dead and half alive? And I said to myself, well, in the absence of any kind of interesting animal to show our viewers, why don't we show them that tree and try and explain it? If you look at it, you can see that it is, as VM says, half dead and half alive. Now, in the case of a mammal, or a human being, or an insect, or a bird, or a fish even, you cannot be half alive or half dead, can you, VM? No. No, you are either alive or you are dead. Now, in the case of a tree, what they do is, in tough times, they sacrifice limbs. So they'll cut off cir circulation to one part of the tree during a drought, or maybe even a fire, if a fire's damaged the tree, and that part of the tree will die, and it means that the rest of the tree can carry on living. And you'll find quite a few trees around here that bear testament to sort of tougher times when, you know, there clearly wasn't enough rain or nutrients or something like that, and they sacrificed a piece of the tree. And that's what's happened here, and I think that's quite interesting. And I think over the course of the next little season, we know that we have quite a lot of trouble, all right, with uh, not too much rain around the place and not too much water. So I think we're going to see that sort of situation quite a lot more in the coming months. Yeah?